Hello, it's Chloe Kimenith Peters here from the Red Tent, and I'm joined today by the beautiful Janine, who has just finished the Red Tent program. Hello, Janine. Hi, Chloe. Oh. Happy to be here. Thank you for joining us because you're such an inspiration. Um, so tell us a little bit about how where you were before you joined the Red Tent, what your life was like then. Yes. Um... I have been in a really low point, I'd say. Like I took a break from work because um, even so I felt well for like one or two weeks of my cycle, I could just not do it anymore. And um, the two weeks, the premenstrual phase, like it was almost any, every time it was like two weeks long. Um, um, yeah, I was just not able to do anything um I didn't know how to heal uh from PMDD either like I was on this journey I got officially diagnosed uh last summer um but I probably had it for like at least six seven years maybe even longer like you know so many women had and or have and they don't know what they're going through and it was the same path for me like it was so difficult to find out what's going on with me um it took also a while until I realized that um it's actually connected to my cycle as well like I think I found out uh, a year ago um by reading a book by reading about it um and yeah, I had to find out myself. <laughs> so um, I went to see more um, specialists and got diagnosed. And yeah, they basically told me that the only thing that I could do is uh, take antidepressants or try to take the anti-baby pill. And I just felt like I could just feel in my body that this is not, that what not, this was not the right way for me like I wanted to try and find out like find a different way um, of healing and yeah uh, once I took some time off um, and felt a little bit less stressed I found you <laughs> and yeah until then I think I tried everything that you can think of um, I feel like yeah, I, I saw one video of Natalie once, I think, and she talked about like how, like how she could actually sell her urine. <laughs> like, I think at one point I was the same. Like I took, you know, any supplements you could take, like doctors told me like my blood tests were like perfect, <laughs> you know? And I was like, okay, like, so what should I do? I don't know what I can do about this. And yeah, so I was frustrated. I was not doing well at all. Yeah. Feels very confusing and you know, yes. don't know where to turn next. So then you found us. And I remember that discovery call so well because the difference in you then and now when I met you, you were just full of self-doubt and in a really bad place. And look at you now, you're just glowing. So tell me a little bit about how you felt when you um, found us and mm -hmm. that call that we had. Yeah. Um, yeah, I found you, um, I found a link to your website in a Facebook group. It was a um, German Facebook group uh, with women who have PMDD. And one of the women who participated in your program, she shared it. and. I think I even saw it some weeks before, but I was not ready to, you know, um, explore this further. And then I um, saw the post again, or she, maybe she also shared it again. And I was really like, okay, now is the time. Like, I think even an hour later, I, I emailed you. And uh, I feel like maybe one or two days later, we had our first call and I was, I was a bit more like, oh my God, what am I doing here? You know, like this is, I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> like, it was more of this. I was interested in the program, especially for the group coaching, because I really wanted to 
um, you know, talk with women or people who um, experienced the same, you know, and understood what I went through. This is also like one part why I was really interested in the program, why I got interested in the program. And then, yeah, um, I had no idea what ITT was. Like, I have never heard of it. <laughs> and um, yeah, two days later, we had our call and I just, you know, my body was really like, yeah, you know, like you remember well, like my body was like, yeah, you have to do this. Like it feels right. Just talking to you felt like, yeah, I, I, I really want to try this. I, I felt like I could like trust you, you know, um, even so this was online and then my mind went on, you know, like, oh my God, this is going to be online. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. I have never met you in person until now. I haven't met you in person, right? <laughs> and I went through the whole program. And also, of course, I was, I hesitated because I'm not an English native speaker. So I was also like, you know, I don't, I don't know what I knew about therapy. I mean, I have done, I have done therapy for the last six years and you know it's always a lot of talking so <laughs> I was like you know I don't know if I can do this in, a, in another language which is not which is not my native language um, and yeah but I think I sent you some more questions and yeah you answered my email and then I was like okay I, I will just do it I will try <laughs> Um, yeah, and we had our first RTT session, I, I think, like, maybe two or three days later. Um, yeah, that was... Yeah, that I'm was so glad you jumped in. I could see that, that that it resonated in your body, that this, but but the self-doubt <laughs> wounds were there. You, yes. I mean, that's all gone now. So tell me about the process through, through the Red Tent program, how it felt for you, those two months of working through all of that stuff and transforming the way you have. Yeah, um, I felt like I started with the first RTT, we had our first RTT and I don't know, it was just, um, I guess I would say like mind blowing, like, you know, after the first session, even when I got back and like I opened my eyes, I felt like, wow, even this room looks different right now. <laughs> even my living room looked different you know and I could already feel um that something changed in my body um I feel like you know the the patterns we worked on or like the situations we went back to doing the RTT sessions um like the situations these were kind of like I didn't remember them before or maybe one or two but they were kind of new, but I feel like all the patterns we talked about, like the behavior I developed or beliefs I had about myself, I, I've talked about them before in therapy, right? Um, it was like in my mind, I knew it, but there was like this disconnection to my body. And I feel honestly, because of the RTT session, I felt like, oh, wow, now I really start to connect to my body again and like feel it. And I could clearly see why I believed all these things about myself or why I behaved like this. And I felt just so different. And I really, honestly, I really enjoyed listening to the recording every day. <laughs> um, I really, yeah, I really enjoyed it so much. And um, I couldn't believe that I already felt so different even after some days, um, you know, even when I opened my eyes or days later, I could already see and feel change happening, um, like how I thought about myself or how I talked to people. Um, yeah, how, how I saw myself and amazing. You see life yeah. through completely different lenses. I love that when you said about 
you woke up and you saw the room differently. I've heard that or again this week. It's interesting. It's like you are literally seeing life through different lenses. And most yes. importantly, seeing yourself through different lenses. Mm -hmm. um, like you say, we can talk about these issues in therapy for years and years and years. But the problem, if you knew what the problem was, the absolute root cause, you'd have solved it with your conscious mind if you knew what that was. But the problem is locked in half conscious, half subconscious. And so with the RTT, you get to understand it with such depth and clarity and very yeah. objective. It's not like you're reliving any trauma. You're just give, getting this amazing understanding of it. And, and that was really important for you, I think. Yeah, it was. And yeah, it's definitely not like reliving any trauma. It's much more like, yeah, really like this understanding and like being, um, I guess, like kinder or, you know, more loving with yourself as well. Um and yeah this is yeah it really changed so much and I was so excited to do the second RTD like I couldn't wait <laughs> to do it um but also the additionally to the RTTs like it really helped me to have the group coachings on Sundays um it it was a bit different than I expected like I, I expected it to be more like we really talk to each other um but it is more like every woman mm, talks about their experience and how they're doing right now which i totally understand um the that natalie does this format um but still it helps so much like to listen to the other women and to not feel so alone with it and also i guess to also show up and talk about yourself. Um, it was really challenging during the first one or two calls. So it was like, oh my God, okay, now, you know, I'm sharing this with people I don't even know. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it really, it helped a lot. And um, also the um, kind of exercises we had to do, the metacognitive exercises, um, it was uh it wasn't like it is a lot of work um to to do it but it's like so worth it and it doesn't take like so much time of your week or your day it's just like i guess like more emotional um it's a lot of work um to do and it's nice to or better to take some time but yeah it's just so so worth it <laughs> to do yeah. the work they're very, very, I mean, they're tools that once you've got them, you think, why are we not taught these things earlier in life? Because they're so essential. Yeah. Yes, really. I was like, yeah, why, why do we have to talk about everything? You, when you, once, you know, you can actually learn how to kind of control your thoughts or like lead your thoughts and, you know, um, go through feelings and not like um, have or kind of you know be stuck with all this energy from the feelings you don't want to feel um yeah nobody teaches you that stuff so it, it's uh I I say it's like an exponential personal growth experience you're healing the subconscious you're getting all these amazing tools for the conscious side of things and together it's like ooh. so I mean and it's so evident in you so tell me how your life has changed since coming through the program how different it is I mean you look completely different <laughs> thank you Yes, I I do feel completely different. I mean, um, honestly, like I am on day 23 in my cycle. I'm like, you know, a premenstrual phase and I can feel like, you know, maybe I'm a bit more emotional, but it's like totally fine and even beautiful like I, I love to discover this phase of my cycle in a new way and um, I feel so much more present I am way more present I did not experience any of the severe symptoms like um, for me it was uh, a lot about like feeling depressed and also the su suicidal thoughts nothing like nothing of it or even so this feeling of you know during these days I I felt many times that like I felt 
super overwhelmed with everything and um, this anxiety and it completely changed now I'm like oh this challenge yeah sure I can do it <laughs> you know <laughs> like, I feel so confident and um it doesn't mean that everything is easy of course it's still challenging but I just approach it in a totally different way and I can we really feel honestly yeah it's more about like I, I feel the self-worth and love to myself but also um towards like other people um yeah it's just it's been so like the transformation has been just amazing and um I honestly can't believe it's just been some months ago and <laughs> I was at such a different point <laughs> some months ago um yeah it's um it's beautiful I think I also made yeah, I made this whole list of things that changed um, and I could continue um, the list. I think it's also, yeah, it's also about like being able to set boundaries better, um, just stand up, just to stand up for myself and all these things. And yeah, definitely not. Like I do feel because I think that's totally natural to have or like normal um was during the whole cycle that in the premenstrual phase you know I'm just I feel maybe a bit more stressed or you know lightheaded or like a bit more emotional but it's definitely something I um I yeah I know about myself and I can handle and I can create the environment that I need to to feel um safe um or well and yeah I have not had oh my god like I even sometimes forget how bad it was um, doing you do don't you because the neural pathways are just not there anymore anymore you're using different neural yeah. pathways so what what is it you're able to do with your life now how do you see your life moving forward in a way that you could never have seen it be you know being in in the past in the past yeah. version of you? yeah um I feel like it's, uh, yeah, I'm much more, um, like I trust much more, like I trust myself and I trust um, also the process to create a life that I deserve. So I actually quit my job throughout the whole process. <laughs> and uh, now I'm, um, I'm going to, to freelance and work on my own project and, um, I think it's something I've always wanted to do, but honestly, like with PMDD, I, I didn't know how, you know, how to do it. Or like, I was like, I, how am I supposed to work for one or two weeks and then, you know, not feel or feel awful for one or two weeks. Um, but also this whole feeling of like, like, okay, now I don't experience PMDD anymore. I don't have the symptoms. Um, but additionally to it, I also feel much more confident and I, I can just see that I can, you know, take on this challenge and I deserve it so much to, to work in an environment where I can thrive and not be stressed all the time. And yeah, to it, to basically, I'm creating my own job right now so I yeah that's uh that's a yeah an extreme like change and um I do think it's be I did that because of the whole program everything I did with you you did you turned your wounds into wings you did an amazing amazing yeah. job <laughs> so happy for you absolutely thrilled and you're such an inspiration so thank you for sharing your story it's it's really um, important that we get this message across and, and just to, for people to know that healing is available and it is absolutely possible and it doesn't have to be complicated. And you're, you're an amazing example of that. So thank you, Janine. And I look forward to hearing all about your new project and see you thrive in your new life. Thank you. Can I just share one more thing? Maybe uh, if women see this, like, because I had this, um, you know, doubt not, not being a native speaker 
and um, you know not maybe um, know every word or be able to describe everything like or every feeling I had and um, I just wanted to say that um, with you like I felt like so safe during the RTD sessions like I just I could just feel that you know if, uh, I liked the words or I didn't know how to describe like you were like, guiding me and I was really like you know I I had no no fear or doubts for like the second RTT session or every call we had. Um, I just felt super safe. So every woman who like watches this and understands uh, like understands us um, but is not a native speaker, I, I feel like you could definitely do it when you like, you know, speak English fluently. And I would also like to share like every woman who you know, maybe watches this and has a friend or someone they know who might go through PMDD and they don't speak English, I would still like totally recommend to find someone who is an RTT practitioner and speaks their language. Like, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Thank so you for that. Understand. Because actually the language that we use to communicate you know the verbal language is actually quite a small part of communication yeah. this work is so intuitive and we really feel into your energy and, and and everything so I think it goes much deeper than just the verbal so thank you for voicing that that's really important and what would you yeah. say to anybody who's thinking about joining the red tent mm. I like any <clears throat> any woman who, yeah, as is probably at this low point with PMDD, I I will tell her that that there is a way to heal this. Um, you don't have to, you know, go through even a surgery, um, which some women do, or you know, some uh, medical professional recommend to do. Um, and you don't have, maybe you know, you don't have to take antidepressants your whole life. You don't have to live with this your whole life. Like this is something I would definitely recommend to try um, before you do anything else with your body. And um, yeah, um, it's, um, it's not in any way like going back to um, traumas you experience. It's really like, um, lifting you up and um, I think it's the way to to heal um, PMDD and yeah I like if you are at a point where you feel like you really want to heal from PMDD I would definitely recommend you to do it and I think this is what I would say and if if it's not you know for some people it might not like possible to do the whole program um, maybe for financial reasons um, if it's possible then maybe start with like one RTT session um, if you can do the whole program but I would definitely also recommend if um, that's possible for you like to do the whole program um, because you just learn so much um, yeah I think this is what I would say and your life um, well, I, I get, I think, and like for me, it was just like such a life change. So your life could change that much as well. And yeah, it's fun. <laughs> so you should do it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And it really has been a life changer for you. And I'm so happy. I, I do remember that discovery call so clearly. And it was really a very different lady I spoke to. So I'm absolutely thrilled for you. Thank you so much for doing this um, with me today. And I look forward to hearing all about your new business that you're building and the new adventures that are coming your way because you're absolutely worthy of all the wonderful opportunities that are coming to you. So I look forward to hearing all about them. Thank you, Janine.